Gonna have a closer look today at the solar system. Green van here. It's a 158 high top, super high cab. 2004, I don't know, 2004, five or six Sprinter. 1220 watts of solar on the roof. Custom made rack with no penetrations for the solar panel mounts. Of course, we do have penetration for the wires to get in. One inch square aluminum bar. how it's welded together here at the corners. We'll get into a little bit more of that soon. Uh, basically made three arch over supports that were tall enough then to run the front to back supports underneath it. And then the crossover supports sit inside the panel. Just kind of see the, the extra distance there. As you can see, the screw is up here holding into the frame of the solar panel. There's a hole underneath here. There was a little bit of a trick to push those screws up through, get a nut on top, and tighten everything down with just this uh, two inches of clearance here. Let's see, we've got all the cables tidied up against the inside of that rack. Power 305s. We've got four of them on the roof of the van. They seem to be doing a pretty good job of running that air conditioner. Uh, spray film insulation has it pretty cool in here. And the cover over the windshield certainly doesn't hurt. Magnusign 4000 watt inverter, if ever MPPT controller, 8.4 kilowatts of Life Plus 4 batteries. It's a 24 volt system because the Inverter is more efficient at 24 volts than any 12 volt inverters I could find. Got a 300 amp fuse there. Battery management over on this side, everything's really tight in there. Uh, two things I'm missing are cutoff switches. I want to add a cutoff switch for the batteries and also a cutoff switch for the solar panels. Wire from the panels come in, those green wires right there. And up behind the air conditioner. Into the ceiling and out through the roof. So trip one to the weld shop, or I guess we can say take one on the build effort. Cut six of these upright pieces with a 22 degree angle at the top. Cut my crossbars, three of them, took it to the weld shop. So here, stick these together for me at that angle that I cut. And as you can probably see on the video here, I came home with six unique angles. Uh, took it back to the weld shop and said, hey, what the hell? Oh, we welded it to the angle that you cut. Oh, come on now. No. Clearly you didn't. But rather than argue about it, since they're the only welder in town really, built this little jig and went back to the weld shop with new material cut. And then rest it into this 
sidebar here, you get the right angle. We'll do it again. You get the same angle, 22 degrees, like I asked for in the first place. Uh, they were able to accommodate that pretty well. And the next second set turned out perfect. That's what's on the van today.